I can never get it when I'm on the ground You can never get it when you pull me down Even when I fall, let's be open now Something about the space that I honor now Something about the race of the richest town Something about this place falling down I don't wanna glow up just to watch you drown This ain't Holly Choco, we in fighting now Hey, it's Anna. So for today's Life of an Entrepreneur video, I wanted to take you behind the scenes to my website and show you how I'm gonna build the website. Because in the last video, I did the photo shoot, so now it's time to actually upload those photos onto the website and get this website all sorted so I can actually launch the company. And I'm really, really excited. I'm really a little bit hyper right now and a little bit hungry. So we're going to get on with this so then I can go and stuff my face. But yeah, so let's jump into it. I don't know if this is a very good angle, but we're going to have to just, and I'm looking at myself, we're going to just have to make do with this wonderful, wonderful angle. Okay, guys. Okay. So as you can see, I use Shopify yeah and i last edited this in january apparently because i've had this store for absolutely ages but it takes a while to get everything else in order so i probably should have left the store till the last thing but fuck it we've done it now so let's go customize 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 i don't know if i oh i didn't send my wonderful oh i did okay we found it my wonderful t-shirt okay so this is what the store looks like. I want to change it because I'm offering free shipping now with all orders, I decided. So I need to change that and then I need to add the t-shirt. Oh, this is so exciting. So I can't remember how the fuck to use this thing because it's been a minute, okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. So now I need to go back through and figure out where the hell this thing is. I don't know. We might be here a while. <laughs> I may have to fast forward through and cut bits out because I can't remember where anything, that is not it. I can't remember where anything is, but basically I'm using Shopify. So this is the theme. This is what I want it to look like. And it says welcome and it will look different on mobile view. Mobile view will be like that. I do love Shopify because it's not actually that expensive. Like it's kind of reasonable. But it would be cool to combine, like, sometimes it glitches and puts that there, I don't know why. But it would be cool to be able to, like, use the store and also have your own, like, be able to put your own stuff on it. Like, combine the store with, like, a personal website rather than them being separate and having to pay separate prices, which is really annoying. But I think Shopify is, like, £25 something like that, I think it's like $29, so it, it works out at like £25, something like that, a month, which I don't know if that counts as expensive or not, I guess it kind of is, especially when you haven't even launched, and as you can see, I've had this website since at least January, probably longer than that, because I get very impatient, and as soon as I get an idea, I just jump straight into it, and I don't think about the money that I'm spending, you know, so, but never mind it's done now so yeah I do like this theme oh shit I pressed the wrong button I'm gonna sneeze <laughs> oh, Jesus so I'm using the Brooklyn theme it's a free theme I didn't want to pay for one as well when I'm already paying monthly it's pretty straightforward I added like the copyright thing and the pay buttons and like shipping information and returns and all of that and social media and yeah, I don't know why it glitches like that. It's really annoying. So let's just go through these things just to kind of break it down and show you. So the headings are on a collection. Uh, I'm not sure where that appeared. Let me... Oh, it's there. Okay, so that's that. Designed by Zana, yep. And I selected the size that I want. And then this is the logo tee because this is the first item. So I don't know if you can add... You can't add the image here. We have to add it in a separate space, which is annoying. Like, it's a little bit confusing. And then we have the newsletter thing. And then the footer is that. Um, I can't find where this top line is. I really want to change it. 
I don't remember where it is. Oh, it might be this one. No. <laughs> no? Okay then. Oh. Ha! <laughs> there. Free shipping. Okay. So instead of it being over £50, I'm going to do free shipping on all UK orders. Maybe not have those cup doors because that kind of clashes. But yeah, free shipping on all UK orders. So that's what I decided to do. Okay. So the website is pretty much done because I already did it in January before I even designed my first t-shirt because I'm impatient. So let's go back to this thing and we can go to products and wait, I don't, oh, it means I have to add the product. Okay. And then you can add the image. So let's upload the first photo, which I edited on the last video. Obviously, this is not going to be the only photo, so I'm just putting it there for now, and it's called Zana Collection Logo Tea. I might just call it Logo Tea. I haven't really decided yet. And then here you can put the description. You can add the, what are they called, like the tags and stuff. Then you can add the price and all of that good stuff. And you can add shipping and everything like that. So this is literally where you do all of the details for that product. But now that I've saved that when I go back into the um into the edit customize the theme I can make sure that that photo is on there you know so that's where you edit all the details for the thing for the t-shirt the item I'm not going to go through okay I wonder what that was I'm not going to go through like everything because I feel like it's pretty straightforward and I feel like I'm going to film some of it now and then as a few days go by when I've edited more pictures and I'm ready to launch then I'll come back here because I haven't even finished editing all the pictures. I literally edited one. <laughs> um, but yeah, so what else could I show you? Like it's pretty straightforward to use. It's just obviously things kind of, things are a bit of effort obviously but like it's pretty straightforward to use. And then what else do we have? Footer menu and the main menu. I don't need a main menu because obviously I only have one item, like I'm starting gradually, so we're just, we don't need a menu of different options of different things to go to. So then here you have the home page title. So this is like the SEO, you know, like on Google when it finds your website. You know when you search a clothing brand and then underneath the name of the website and underneath the clothing brand name it has like a little info bar and it lists certain things so oh yeah you can add discount codes you can create codes which I will be doing because as I showed you in my inserts um it offers discount codes so I will be doing that okay I can't remember oh <laughs> settings that would do it so you go in the settings and here you can edit the shipping you can edit like you can edit all of the behind the scenes kind of details about the store so we're going to edit shipping and remove the fact that we were charging the uk now we're not going to charge the uk at all except next day delivery like if you want next day delivery then obviously that will be charged but otherwise why? Oh, yeah. Hmm. But otherwise, standard delivery will be free shipping. There's no maximum limit. It's just standard delivery. There's no limit of how much you need to spend. It's always free. If you want UK next day, then it's $5.99. And... We can delete that one because that one doesn't even work anymore, you know? So yeah, we have a free shipping and then UK next day is 5 99 because when you look at all of the shipping rates and how much it actually costs, it's kind of that sort of price. I may be able to lower it. I need to double check because the last time I looked was in January and I can't really remember. But 
we're just going to leave it at 5 99 for now because I'm not launching right now. I need to finish off editing all the pictures to upload them. And then after that, there's just a few admin -y sort of things. And then we're good to go. So we're almost done. But yeah, so let's go back to the actual store. So to put the image here, you have to select, oh man, I haven't created any collections. <laughs> Let's go create one. God damn it. It's so annoying that it like works by collections, but it would be a collection of all of the images that come under the same item. Or like, like say you had a t-shirt and a hoodie and a sweater or something, all with the same logo or the same image on it then you could create a collection for that kind of thing but I don't need a collection what I need is to somehow mm, I don't know I don't bloody know <laughs> I actually don't remember how the fuck to do this oh well, I just removed them. Okay, then. So, instead of a collection, let's add. <laughs> Here we go. This is what I'm talking about. So, we add a product instead. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Select product. So, on a collection t shirt. There you go. You know, so I'm going to add one for men and one for women kind of thing as I go along. And yeah, so it will be all different like that. And then show social buttons, show vendor, show variant labels, dynamic checkout button. Ooh, what does that mean? Ooh, yeah, let's do that. But it won't say all of this shit. Like, I mean, it better not say all of this shit. I think I have to figure out how to change that but I think it will change when it's actually because the product's not even available I haven't set it to be available so I think it will change when that is changed because obviously my shipping rates are already calculated but yeah so now we have that there ready it's pretty straightforward really because obviously I'm only launching one t-shirt like it's one item it'd be different if I was launching like 10 or 20 or 50 different items in one go then obviously it would be a long process because I'd need to create pages to be able to have them all broken up like women's tees, women's dresses, women's this, women's that and then men's this, men's that and that's where it is going to progress to but just for now it's one thing at a time. If there's anything that you want me to go into in another video, definitely let me know and I can show you like a deeper overview of the website and how it all works but I just kind of guess to be honest and then anything that I don't understand I just google it and it always comes up you know and Shopify also have like FAQs and they have a lot of um like tutorials and certain things of how to do it and step by step so like that's how I changed my domain name and all of that kind of stuff because they can walk you through it in their FAQ like help section so that is it for this video let me I don't know whether I want to take this bad boy off or whether I want to leave it there Oh, I'm not sure. I feel like I didn't show you very much. <laughs> but I mean, this is what I'm doing, you know. Some days we only do a little bit and then another day we do a little bit more and then a little bit more and then it all adds up and then everything's done and ready to go. So maybe I'll show you the behind the scenes of how like everything, like social media and stuff like that and how, like what goes into the actual launch. So stay tuned for that but thank you so much for watching all links to my website and my music and social media and everything will be in the description box below don't forget to hit the notification bell to be notified in all future videos because you know they like to play games with us and stop you from noticing when a video comes up but anyway don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you in the next video bye i said bye really weird just then Bye. <laughs> oh Lord. I need a man that will hold me down. If he a yes man, I ain't keeping him around. I need
need a 